Hello my warriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I want to build some mechs today with you. I want to make our king crab better. This thing has all the ballistics in the world, but I think we want to put some more missile weapons on the guy. And we have a banshee that I wanted to build for a while now, and that's also a thing that I want to concentrate on. So, I would say we will take a look at the contracts here on this planet, and we're gonna say no to scorched earth and no to garrison duty here i don't think we need to get anything from these independents also we don't really get that much salvage huh is that okay we're gonna go now yeah it's fine so that being said where the hell do we go i think we're gonna go to asta asta is close by and we can probably get something good there because there is rare equipment and uh, i think a rare mech on the market as well so we'll check that out first and then Oh boy, oh boy, is that what I see here? Is that what I... Holy crap, give me a second. That's rare gladiator. Where, where the hell is that thing? It's... wait, it's... Uh, it's structure, right? It says rare gladiator. That is the crazy armor that I want. Where the hell is that? It doesn't show up here. I see assault battle axe, I see flamer that I want to pick up. Where is the gladiator thing? Come on! I need to know. I need to have it. That's exactly what we need for the Banshee. Hello? I don't see it here. Gladiator? Yes, maybe? No? Oh, no. I think it should it should be here. Because it's kind of a like an armor thing. For all of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this here. The Black Knight. The Solaris 7 Gladiator here. That thing has Gladiator armor or... Whatever that is. I mean, it's a fixed item here. Doesn't mean we cannot really take it, but it takes the armor slot. And the cool thing it, <coughs> it provides is the hot seat cockpit. It gives us the speed boost. It gives us extra armor. It gives us acceleration. It gives us more damage. I think it should be, right? It should give us 50% more damage output than melee. But anyway, that's what we want. That's exactly the thing that we are looking for. But um, it doesn't show up here. Maybe. Assault Battle Axe. That's not what we are looking for. Not at all. It's a tier 4 weapon. 7 tons for 87 damage. Give me a second. Assault Claymore is 77. This is 62. I'm going to buy that Battle Axe. The DPS is 16.9 compared to our Claymore, which is 17. So the Claymore hits faster and more often and uh, as a result gets more DPS out. But I'm here for the big impact. So we're gonna take that battle axe and we're gonna put that to good use, right? So that's definitely a thing. But where the hell is the thing that I'm looking for? Where the hell is the gladiator armor? Is it here? I'm gonna go for everything. I feel it, like this is a bug. I wanna buy this, but it's not there. Maybe I'm blind. Sniper cannon, sniper artillery, SRM Inferno. I don't care about that. Flamer Large Laser, Auto Cannon 10 Burst Fire, Ammo, Advanced UAV, Armor Primitive, Arrow Ammo, Arrow Double. We're gonna pick some double arrow ammo. Uh, primitive Cockpit. Yeah, I don't care about that. We have Gauss Ammo. We have Gyro Agility. We want Mobility. There's a Heat Bank Mark II. I don't care about that. We have uh, Modular Armor Rear. That's fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Uh, Narc ammo, improved sensor, SRM ammo, structure endo. We should probably take that anyway. We have a lot of money right now. UAV drone. No, I think I think this is an item that shows up here as a rare item, but it is not an item that you can necessarily buy. Also, NSS, null signature system. Where is that? It feels like we are getting scammed here. And I don't wanna I don't wanna stay a little longer than I need to. Let's do the thing, right? Take a look at Mac Market. Say good night to Cyclops. It's quite a good one, actually. What is difficult ejection? Negative four head structure. Ooh, cowl. Hut six extra bonus to armor. Nice. Uh, yeah, this thing comes with a guardian ECM and double heat sinks and feral. Mm -hmm. Dragon. I don't care. We have a Highlander, which is fresh. That's okay. Hadamoto. Don't care about that. And we have a Thunderbolt. Okay, quick check at the barracks. Damn. It's a tier 60 pilot, I'm gonna pick that up. Whenever I see one of those guys, we can take them. Okay, so, um, right now I'm here for some rebuilding. So we'll take a look at Mr. Knight. Knight is gonna get dropped. I don't want him anymore. I'm not using him anymore anyway. So we'll drop the double XL engine, the gyro, the endo. Uh, wait a sec. 
fixed gladiator hot seat there's a hot seat that we can take out of here of course we can do that god i was so blind i was so dumb uh, okay so take all of this we don't need it 16 days we have that time i completely take this guy apart because this gladiator uh he'd probably send it to cold storage yeah let's queue it up it's fine so the carapace is gonna be uh repaired the banshee is gonna be repaired and we're gonna stay a little bit longer on this planet here so this is gonna be all right okay say timeline say go we could also take a look at another planet while we're at it i mean sure let's scoot around a bit let's go to yori take a look at that planet take a look at their store and what they have in terms of uh, mech warriors that would be really nice also they have a cantina like superchargers nah Kill vindicator mm. Kill demolisher sure that's a thing that we can do often okay equipment real quick all right this is just regular ammo we got patchwork tier two i'm gonna buy that hell yeah let's go i'm gonna patch it up Missile and modular. We have two of these modular targeting computers, but no bonuses for that. Tensor range bonus, 80 meters. Additional stronger mech lights? I want to check, uh, check that out. That sounds fun. I'm going to put a searchlight on my mech. Agility? No, we want mobility, heat bank, ammo, weapons. Um, nothing here. We have the flamers, finally. And we want to get good M. Oh, there's double arrow. There is double arrow. I think we want to check a double arrow build, right? I'm gonna buy those. Just to have them. You know what? We are in the process of getting things uh, that we always wanted. And there is... We have a lot of money. That's what I want to say here. We can also build another Banshee. And I will totally do that. Let's go. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna run this thing. Ah, yeah. Money is now a problem. Um, but uh, but anyway. Um, I, wanna, I wanna build it and have it. Okay, so in order to build this thing, we quickly go to selling things. Um, I can get rid of one of these XL engines. That's fine. Okay. We can get the drop rewards for a streak too, but more importantly, we get reputation. And pick up another cantina now, and I think I want to try to kill Vindicators. That seems easier than collecting the other things. Alrighty. Okay, so that being said. Mm, back to Battle Max, back to Banshee, Assemble Mac, thank you very much. That's for one and a half million sea bills, and we can sell it for four million. Do I want to run this? Four ballistic hard points, three on energy on the other side. There's a bunch of doubles. I feel like I want to drop this. It doesn't have any good quirks. Hmm, what can I do with that? Ooh, it was running a light engine. Was running a light engine. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Uh, let's confirm this and sell it for 4 million sea bills. Okay, so there's that. We still need the time to get the Black Knight uh, stripped. So we're gonna go to Tau City. Try another one of those planets. Oh, and I didn't check the pilots. Anyway. We have some decent ones already. So now we're gonna do that. None of these matter. Equipment. Show me what you got. Primitive armor. Clan Active Pro! Okay, all right, that's good. That's a ton for a lot of value. I like that. I'm gonna buy that. Boom. Uh, we have a Mask Mark 1. Oh, man, we need a bigger one. Uh, but there's a Mobility Gyro that I want to get, so we're gonna buy them all out, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Double Heat Sink Kit, Heat Bank, Mark 3, sure. Don't really care about that right now. Okay, now, any good weapons here? There are some SRMs. There's a LB-10 Cluster 4. ERPPC tier 4. Need to get all of this for potential builds later. I have too many things to concentrate on right now. There's also a tag that we should probably take. Alrighty. So, there's that. Ah, oh, god, we have so much stuff. <laughs> now for the fun part. Let's go ahead and build things. I want to get my Atlas A. My Atlas A currently runs a lot of LRMs. But what about a double arrow build? Is <laughs> that the right choice, even? Oh god, I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's check if that's possible. We have double arrow now. One. Work. Why not? We have a floating slot going on here. Oh, we are actually missing the slots completely, huh? We cannot go endo with this. Alright. It is technically possible to run double arrow. 
It uh, takes us 51 days to test this. Are we running double arrow? <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. It's probably not better than um, than our than our LRM build. Oh, I know what we are doing. Oh my god, yeah, that's so much better. We'll we'll take the the uh, Atlas 7DH here. This thing is not built yet. It has still stuff that is lacking. So we're gonna drop all of this, all of the doubles, all of the mediums. Actually, we might want to keep the four medium lasers. And this is gonna be our arrow carrier. Also has enough slots to take that. And um, I would say we're gonna slap ammo on it and we are good. Huh. 200 rounds. How does that work? I mean, an arrow is a big one shot. Like a big single shot missile. Why do you say we have 200 rounds here? Does it mean I have 100 alpha strikes by only putting one bin of ammo in here? I don't trust this. We're gonna put two in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring back the medium lasers so that we have something that we can shoot, right? Uh, it's gonna be the tier 4. Oh. We have five slots. Now that's good. Okay, double heatsink, standard engine. Gyro? We're gonna put one of these mobility gyros in here that we just bought. And... What about heat? I think we might need that. Alright. Uh, we got patchwork, but we don't necessarily want that. Sensor. Searchlight. Why not? I want to test this. Okay. Mm. So we got like five medium lasers. We got uh, two arrows. I think what we need is more double heat things. And, and, and that's where we are running a little bit low, huh? We got two slots left. One in the head, one in the arm. That means... What does it mean? What, what are we doing with the last few things? Uh, I can put a proto in here. Alright. Now we have one and a half. Another single? I, I honestly don't know how much cooling we need for this, but um, this might be fine. So now, half a ton. We could armor up our legs. No, we have everything armored up already. Where are we going with this? Um, standard engine is fine. We could upgrade one of these mediums to maybe a large laser. Drop some of these heat sinks. I am not sure about that. I'm certainly not running this ballistic here. This is so weird. Like, what are we doing with this? If I drop this, if I drop the roto, and if I go down on leg armor. Okay, let's do it like this. We need five tons. Oh god. E half a ton. <laughs> the thing is, if I want to go for a laser, a large laser, we even have one. There it is. We need half a ton. And I don't want to go lower than that here. We can patch it up with the tier 2 patchwork, but we need two slots for that. And I don't see it right now. <laughs> I am not happy. I am not happy at all. You know what? Do we have pulse lasers? Wait a second. We might have medium pulse lasers somewhere. We don't. Crap. What about a tag? Is that helpful? I think I put a tag in here. That might be good. And you know what? We're gonna max the armor again. And it's fine if we go under tonnage. Let's just test this thing, alright? Let's just go have a good time with it. And we also got a clan active probe that we're gonna slap on the head component here. We're gonna give it another single heat sink here. And we are half a ton under. That's okay. Absolutely fine. And I really hope we have enough ammo. I'm not sure. We will see. Start the work. We have an arrow. <laughs> Completely different from what I wanted to build. But, you know, it's here. We have it now. We have 1 million C builds in one day. The next financial report is coming around the corner. So, quick check on equipment. Um, What, what do we drop? What, what do we go... What do we leave here? Um... Mm, maybe crappy weapon systems. Like like this autocannon. Okay. Like this autocannon. Alright, cool. Oh, we have machine guns. We have a lot of them. Let's get rid of them as well. They're not giving us too much money, but they're worth a bit. LV-10 cluster can go. Perfect. So, that is 2 million C-bills now. That means we can uh, keep jumping around. Let's go down to Procyon. And uh, I know we are already 15 minutes into the video, guys. It's a good 
good moment to self-plug myself a bit. I'm currently trying to go for 100,000 subscribers and you could really help out by clicking the subscribe button. So while we are here, it would be really, really appreciated if you could do that. It would help me out a ton. So thank you. Let's go ahead, take a look at pilots. Uh, what are you? Mm, you are a 59 base pilot. You have a lot of secondary skills here. That's crazy. Is 59 good enough? My combat skills are meant to impress, sir. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we have a we have a pretty good roster already. Actually? Huh? Yeah, these are good. We have some spares. We are just going for the tier 60 pilots at that point. Okay. The Black Knight is still in repair. That's so crazy, man. That's absolutely insane. Another mobility gyro. And by the way, I'm looking for a supercharger Mark V as well. Improved, sure. Barrel primitive, fine. Engines, nothing here. Okay, so we don't care about that. That's an awesome rare mech. I don't know if you care about that. That's the brawling, awesome. Two large lasers, four SRM6s with Artemis. Nothing to be um, excited about. So, what, what else do we need? What else do we want? Do we start the build on the Banshee? I think we do. You know what? We can do that already. So here's the thing. Our Banshee wants to go fast. It wants to be big. It wants to be intimidating. And for that, we're going to first of all drop all of this. <laughs> all of the lasers need to go. We're going to make use of them on another build. The targeting computer heat can also probably go. We're going to start with the Battle Axe. Yeah, 122 damage. When you take a look at our front armor, it says 120. That crushes the front armor. Not the structure, though, because usually you have half the structure uh, of your armor, like 120 armor, 60 structure. That means we need to deal 180 damage, but we can do it with... Uh, where's that thing? Huh? 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 Where the hell? It's somewhere. I know. There it is. Lower melee, 1-2. Upper spike, 1-2. These give us 10% bonus each. Actually, the lower melee gives us 15% bonus. And these give us 10%. So now, all of a sudden, we have 144 damage. Mm-hmm. That's great, isn't it? I'm gonna drop the 340 engine for the bigger one. 380. Here we go. And I also probably want an XL engine. Because we are not stopping here with our... Um, with our uh, weight. We want to put more stuff into the mech. So, laser insulator, be gone. Do we even go XL? Maybe I'm taking that back, because we don't have hardened armor on this one. We have it on the Black Knight. Not on the Banshee. It will probably get hit a lot, and therefore it will probably take a lot of damage to the side as well. Means that the XL engine will blow the mech up. Maybe we can get away without it. So first of all, um, where we are going, we actually need those double heat sinks. Oh yeah. Um, we still have a bit of... A little bit of weight left over. That's okay. And that weight is gonna be put into... Where are they? Medium lasers. I wanna be able to shoot something. So, those are all of them. Oh, I can see this is not working without XL. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, I guess we're gonna try this. Boom. Sure, we're gonna try this. So it's another 63 days until we can get this done. How long is the Black Knight taking? It's 13 days. Okay, I would say we're gonna scoot around even further. We're gonna go to Sirius. Still looking for that Supercharger Mark V. But I think we have a good chance to find one of those on a pirate planet, not necessarily at uh, the Terran planets here. Warhammer 6RB. Ooh. I love to see it. These are getting better and better. And the equipment on the market joins that as well. Double heat sinks here. Maybe we should pick them up. They're cheap. Yeah, I guess so. There's another mobility heat bank mark one. Sure. Sensors improved primitive. Targeting computer modular. Sure. We don't have battle computers yet. Um, and then there is all of this. All of this. I don't care about it right now. What I do care about is my battle mechs. The Black Knight is done. That means we can now take a look at the carapace, which is also a thing that I wanted to change. These SRM2s need to be taken out. I want to get LRMs in here, and I want to get the double XL engine to run all of this. Also, if possible, a bigger core. But hey, let's check it out first. Um, also, it's clear we don't have energy hardpoints. That's a question that I had in the last episode. So, I'm gonna put some LRM5s in the mech. Um, and we have some. Four of them. 
a double bin of ammo and I'm happy. Boom. That's gonna be it. And a mobility gyro. Boom. Now we are a bit faster. That makes a difference. That actually makes a difference. We also don't have any targeting systems. Oh. Oh, we have clan endo. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, but yeah, we got like, what? Uh, two... Critical patchwork here and... Do what? Armor up? We don't have the money. That's crazy. Patchwork is extremely expensive. Uh, we also don't have the money to put all the LRMs in there. No, it's the clan double XL. Holy crap, man. Oh, no. We cannot start the build yet. I mean, I can start the build by taking out the things that I wanted to take out. Oh, please. Oh, please, man. Maybe I have maybe I've uh, put too much effort into all of this at the same time. All right, we're going to sell some things. Let me go ahead and sell LRM tents, which are bad. These as well. Get out of here. Okay, 1.9 mil. I'm sorry, guys. It's a bit of a longer episode today when it comes to the building part, but... Man, I want to get that arrow online, and I want to get that... King Crab online. All right, we have 3 million again. Let's go back to the crab. I mean, at the very least, we know what we want to do now. Take all of these buttons. Get in the gyro. Get in the XXL engine. We have some LRMs. One, two, three, four, and five. No, wait, only four. Double bin of ammo. We're good to go. Okay, start. Oh, wait, targeting computer. We buy one. Improved sensors. Targeting computer ballistic. Less spread and more distance. I love that. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Get it in there. Makes so much sense. Alrighty. Down to 900,000. Okay. Pretty good. And yet again, the Banshee needs some time still. So I think we need to get some money. What about that, huh? Should we sell this? 4.6 mil. I don't know if we ever come back to this. It's sadly a fixed item you know, that we cannot take out. I will get rid of this now. Goodbye. I need the money. Alrighty, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, so many things to test today. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Kate. Looking for the supercharger. You cannot you cannot go out without a supercharger on that melee banshee. We need it. Okay. Hired pilots. Order no. Equipment. Checking it out real quick. Uh, there are more doubles. We want to pick them up. We're running a bit low on them. Uh, mobility, heat bank, uh, sensor improved, SRM, supercharger. Mark IV. Doesn't work for our banshee. Man, we need that thing. And then there's stuff here. Okay. I guess we have to we have to find it somewhere else. Right now, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and we play that assassination and I wanna see what our arrows can do. Alrighty. Arrows Yeah, are coming in. I'm gonna play that. And I think I wanna use my King Crab as a secondary pilot somewhere. I'm gonna also take an ass. No, I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna take money. We need it. So, Carapaz. <laughs> Where to? Uh I think... Huh. What do I think? I think the carapace is better than this atlas, so we'll put it here. And I'm going to take the atlas... Where is it? This one, right? Plan active probe and so on. Yeah, let's go arrow, guys. Let's have some fun with that. Okay. I also am very, very eager to see how this ballistic build plays now. With the 20% less spread, we have pretty accurate ultra auto cannons on the carapace because it already has quirks for it. And now we also have a targeting computer that helps us out even further. It's gonna be amazing, man. There's a good chance Okay. Our also, we have extended headlights on this atlas. The more locations on the map are the most likely areas where we'll find them. Be okay. careful, as they have many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna make that uh, chain fire group happen. Am I fine with that? Bag here. Medium lasers here. Okay, let's try. So, we can lock on, right? Woo! Here goes the arrow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful with that. So they don't really have a good arc up. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, he's not really inside yet. Okay. What, what's cool here is that we actually got a tag that is helping out our other Atlas as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and shoot that at Max, shall we? And I want to shoot probably both of them at the same time. God, this is just so cool. Our headlights? Oh, yeah, man. Fernlicht is on. <laughs> here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, it's more even. They have two intensity states now. One, two. Beautiful. Cool. That's cool as hell. Yeah, man, we have that crazy artillery mag. Let's try again. <laughs> this is great. I have no idea how big the explosion is, and I kind of want to see it. Also, it's kind of weird that we see all of these here when they are not popped out yet. Is that because of our UAV, or is that because of our probe? Oh, he's gonna go down. Another one. <laughs> so good. So damn good. Give me a real opponent. Give me a mech. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Double arrow. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Literally. Uh, it takes out these guys in one shot. As it should, I guess. Uh, what, what, what? Wait, what? Give me a second. Give me a second, real quick. We, we have 400 arrows. Like, we have so much ammo, so I was not mistaken there. So we can shoot those arrows all the time, whenever we want. Um, heat is in a limited factor, I guess. But in general... Holy crap, this is strong. Ah, yeah, minimum range is a thing. That's fair, absolutely fair. But that's what we have the lasers for, right? And our friends. Okay, give me a give me an assault mag. I want to see how good this does against assault mags. Oh man. And I think the word I'm looking for is well, not good, right? Ooh. And I am happy that these missiles are pretty fast. They have a pretty good velocity. Projectile speed is amazing. Okay, 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 okay. Let's hope that we're gonna find some resistance here. And then that we can shoot them at long range. Hmm. And dump fire those. And they deal enough splash damage to actually hit the ground and uh, even uh, destroy the popped. or not yet popped up turrets. Okay, try again. Eh, not quite. We didn't quite hit. So, here we go. We have a tank. I'll certainly try to destroy that guy. You can see it's building up a bit of heat, but I think it's cold enough. Right now we are not in a, in a dire situation where we have to defend ourselves against waves and waves of incoming enemies and racking up heat over time. So this is not really stressful. We have enough cooldown time right now. So I wonder how this works in an environment like a... Oh, this little guy, I'm sorry. Like a war zone. Huh? War. Bye. Yeah, right? God, why light mechs? I really feel bad for them. <laughs> this is great! This is so good, one of the best decisions I've ever made in this game. <laughs> I'm in love, give me more of these. Oh yes, all the arrows, please, plus the long term. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, huh? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy, huh? You're fine with your LRMs? We need to upgrade those as well. So whenever we find good LRM5s now, I think I'm gonna take them. Uh, just to give the Carapace some extra. And obviously we need better Ultra Auto Cannon 5s as well, because we still have Tier 1 and 2 in the mech. What I also like is that we are faster than 48 kph. Hmm, not quite. There we go. So, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm having my tag active all the time, I'm clenching that that mouse with my thumb button all the time like that. That's how I do it. Would be nice if there was a toggle, but it's not there. It's fine. All right, guys, follow me to glory and victory. We're gonna rush over the hill and see what's in front of us, and then we're gonna see it getting blown to pieces. Man, I need to play this again, but I also want to play the Carapace with LRMs to see how it does. So much stuff to do today. 
I don't think we're gonna see the Banshee in action today. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I really hope so. I really do hope so. But we need that supercharger in order to get it done. And we need to find the freaking gladiator armor. That would be so good. That would be exactly what we want. Hardened armor? And and the supercharger together? This is great. There's a light mech. Uh, that's the wrong button. Still learning. He's behind that. Hmm. Mm. I don't think we can hit him unless he comes close. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, maybe now. Not quite. But what's also pretty good is that the arrows have a quite good cooldown. It's better than the long term, definitely. They shoot faster. And as a result, probably provide more DPS. Have you ever been... Oh. Have you ever been uh, in, a, in a landscape and your barn got destroyed by a big, big missile? That's what we do today. I'm sorry. I mean, who settles here anyway? This is mech territory. Alright, 1300 meters. We're almost there. My friends are not coming. Come to me, guys, please. I want you to follow me. Okay, got it. Bye, Arby. You have a Rock 5. Oh, Risk Urban Mag. Uh, uh, what's going on here? Why? Because he's moving so fast? Because I'm not accurate enough? That's a long to Oh, long term Atlas. Let me see what you got, buddy. In the name of the Greek provinces, uh, you must be destroyed. Okay. Damage is not the greatest, but I'm also afraid of his long term, which is now destroyed. Okay, so now we're going in. Let me get Lana's side and let me get the tag. Maybe that's a factor here. Let's go arrow. Yeah, better. But it could have also been that he was so damaged already that that was it. Where is my where's my dropship? Come on. Send me more enemies. Good shot. Good shot there. The contract is fulfilled, but there should be a dropship somewhere, right? Give me more enemies. What's coming here? 5,000 meters range on the arrow, by the way. We can just hit that urban mech. Without a problem. From here. <laughs> Alright, I guess in that case, if there's no dropship, we just gotta go. We'll take the ego down real quick. Yeah. Down he goes. Zoop, zoop. So good, man. So damn good. Guys, if you've ever wanted to build a strong mech, I could highly recommend an arrow, double arrow, Atlas. It's just so much fun. It's really nice that the weapons synergize so well, like having like two arrows. I was thinking about putting one arrow in the mech and then some other like weapons like ballistics. Orion. Yeah, not an insta-kill. But you know what I mean, right? Double arrow just is, is good because it's the same weapon twice. Thank you. Oh, down he goes. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get into the zone and uh, have a good time on the salvage table, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be insane. But we need to be careful. We need to be careful with uh, shooting our own feet with those arrows. They have a minimum distance, which is great, so you don't accidentally drop them in front of you on terrain. Um, but... What do you think? Arrow? Yay or nay? Holy crap. Now, that's a Rock 5. Come on, we gotta take that. Absolutely. Ah, Urban Lord, not Urban Mech. Powered sensors, radical double heat sinks. Oh, MMLs, double XL gyro, hyper laser. Oh, that's why Urbi didn't go down that quickly. It's an Urban Lord, a 70 ton mech, not a 30 tonner. I kind of want to get that, but I also want to get the rack. AC10, targeting computer heat, AC2, AMS, sure. Lots of that. Lots of AC2s. Um, Urban Mech parts. Sure. Medium lasers. I was thinking that was a medium pulse, but it wasn't. And we get ammo for the rock. Please. What are we ammo? One bin. Uh, not a lot, but I'll try it anyway. How many shots are in there? 280 rounds. That's not gonna suffice, but anyway, we are getting there. And I said I wanted LRM5s whenever I see them, right? We don't see them. That means we will take the Urban Lord. 
so that we can possibly pick it later and build it later. Only one part, though. But I think there is no way around this. So, this is a good autocannon. This is a good AMS. We are still looking for more AMSs so that we can make the ultimate AMS. We just want to upgrade that. That's what I want to say. And then medium lasers, because you cannot have enough of those. Oh. There's arrow ammo, fine. Long term ammo, fine. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because they are cheap. I'm gonna take some more SRM2 here. Tier 4. Might. You might want to get some missile spam mech later. All right, here we go. So we dealt 148 damage, and that's because the splash damage is not considered damage. It's environmental damage, and, you know, it's not great. A king crab only dealt 190. That's nothing. But hey, there it is. We got an arrow. This is so good. And honestly, I think I can give the arrow to an AI. At the very least, I want to try that. So where do we go now? There is nothing on this planet anymore. Great defense. Ooh, I want to play the battlefield, honestly. Let's check that out. And uh, the rock again, is not really runnable right now. But whenever I can, I'm going to take a look at the market. Because sometimes you find ammo. <gasps> what? <laughs> totally worth looking at this here. That's a silver bullet gauss rifle. It's a Gauss shotgun, it's a tier 5 weapon, it's so good, man. I mean, it's probably not really that good, but it's a silver bullet and we have to try this. Come on, let's get it. They have multiples, oh god. They have multiples of those. Do I want a second silver bullet? Do we make a double silver bullet build happen? Maybe on the king crab or anything. I know, the king crab is made for um, uh, rotaries or ultra auto cannon. No, just ultra auto cannons. Is heavily quirked for that. Maybe we find another king crab and put double silver bullet gauss rifles on them. That sounds like a fun build, man. I want that. N let me try to get the money for it. Also, ammo? No ammo. Having two big guns with no ammo, it feels bad, man. It feels really bad, but there isn't, there's no way around it. We gotta take that. Come on, let's be real. Let's get it. So, we have a, we have a bunch of single heat sinks. Um, they're not giving us enough money, but I think I'm gonna drop them anyway, because they're just lying around. So here we go, there we go. That. Um, Mask Mark IV. Man, we need the Mark V. Supercharger, also not really what we want. Targeting computers, stay here. Pharaoh stays. All of this needs to be around. I wanna not drop my last XL engine. We can get rid of a 300 rated core, though. That is fine. That allows us to pick up the silver bullet, and I think... Um... I think two is enough, certainly. And we can play some more missions here, so let's go ahead and do exactly that. Uh, I want to play the arrow again, but I also want to check my, my king crab. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility. Do I take this out for a spin now? Yes, so. God, I want to play all of them at the same time. <laughs> Oh, man, I can, I guess, I can. Or you know what? We're gonna do that. We will We will start with the Atlas, and then we can swap into the King Crab later. And I hope that the Atlas is not derping out and is not staying still. But if so, I have to give the manual orders to attack. Sometimes when you start with a certain mech and then you jump into another one, your starting mech will just be completely flatlined in the brain and will not do anything anymore unless you direct them to a target. So you gotta be... Uh, you gotta, you gotta hmm, sharpen your commander skills, I would say. All right, let's check this out. How much damage can we put out there? Last time we were playing the King Crab, we were close to 2,000 damage. And that's with the SRMs. Now that we have LRMs, we can probably shoot them more often than the SRMs, which will result in more overall damage output. So we'll check that out. It's so cool that there is so much, so much more stuff coming to the market now. All the new toys, rotary autocannons, silver bullet gauss rifles, we got arrows now. Oh, that spices up things so much, man. So much. And that's what I love about the game, especially when it's modded. I usually um, don't like games where there's a certain meta game and you just play that and then you win all the time. That's kind of boring to me. I like the excitement of the unknown. I like to get surprised. I like to experience things. Uh, to, um, yeah, to... Oh yeah, we're running the arrow. 
um, uh, to get excited about uh, the unpredictable. That, that's that's the cool thing about it. I'm the explorer type of guy. So, totally my jam right now. Totally. So we're playing what? Uh, Battlefield, right? That means enemies will come to us, which is great. And they will come in waves, which is also great. And they will set us under a little bit of pressure, which is also great. I want to see the heat management of the Atlas. And then later we swap to the other mech. 200 meters, and here we go. Ideally, we're gonna take some kind of high ground. This is gonna be good. Oh man, the range of our arrow. Oh, he missed. He's too fast, huh? <laughs> Come on here, Jenna. Let's go. No hit. Ooh, be careful. Banshee, don't get in front of me, please. Here's the arrow. No, no hit. We've got some lasers that we can use. Now the Jenner is in open terrain. And we have the tag. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. It was nice to have you. Man, I think the arrow is kind of a cheating weapon. It's so good. Uh-huh. Come on. Get into open terrain. He's still behind it, but the splash damage was enough. It's crazy. It is so crazy. And with the help of a UAV, this thing is amazeballs. Oh yeah, I was uh, thinking about dropping a bit of ammo. Because we have literally 400 shots. Alright. That was the first wave. Easy. Easy. Heat management is also pretty good on this. But hey, give me something good. Give me something big, like this dropship there. Come at me, bros. You're also on the high ground, which means I can hit you a bit better. Light Max coming. Does that hurt me? It doesn't. Okay, that's pretty good. So, how do we hit... Hmm. Jab? Yeah, not like that. I need a bit of, bit of a better angle. Ah, uh, they're running around. Okay, I'm gonna send my people over there, but there's more coming from this hill, isn't there? Wait, we had some enemies, and... They were dropped with the, with the ship. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna try to get an angle here on the right side and try to hit from above. No. Our arrow is kind of weird sometimes. I guess high ground is what we need. Can you please kill these light mechs? What is wrong with you guys? Uh huh. Right, I guess I have to do it all myself, huh? Alright, here come the other guys from the other side. Let's get him. Mm, I think we didn't get any collateral. So, the other javelin. Also, far away enough to not get my banshee destroyed. So, here's the hunchy now. Wait for it. Now! Completely down! <laughs> like that! Oh god. Number two! Oh, he survived one shot. Alright, let's give him another. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, finally! That's a dropship to my liking. By the way, uh, you guys said... Oh, I should try to hit the, the mech bay doors in order to get damage out before the dropship is dropping the mechs. Uh, that's splash damage, man. And the bolt? Uh, they are flyers from behind, and we should really take care of them, because they are Igors. Right? Large laser Igor. Got him. I don't care about the other ones, so we go for this guy. Actually, this guy. Yeah, I'm not in a good spot here. We need to find some kind of good high ground position for us. Minimum range. Hmm? Cannot do it. What's my minimum on this? It's 180? Like LRMs? We'll try. Yeah. It's 180. Alright, Countess. Give him hell, please. Come on. Okay. So we got that guy. And you know what? I'm gonna try to really get out of this stupid bowl of this stupid cauldron. We will try to get high ground and you can take the whatever champion. Okay. 
So, small pulse laser javelin. Medium pulse laser javelin as well. Interesting. I don't think we can hit him from here, but I want to try anyway. Uh, wait. There was a ramp, wasn't there? I thought we had a ramp here. Maybe I was blind. <laughs> okay. So, we have to go around. Yeah, this is all solid rock. What was I thinking? We will take the carapace now. One of these LRMs is not set. Interesting. Oop. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So, LRMs fly. We can do that now. That's pretty good. Hey, little guy. Jammed. Okay, so Betty is telling me that my weapon is jammed. Does she does that all the time? Does she do that all the time? He's down. Little guy. Be pretty annoying if she did. Whoa. And then the heavy mech. Ah, oh, there's smoke everywhere. Yeah, I wanted to tune down the smoke a little bit. That's a thing that I still have to do. I'm sorry. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen at some point. I guess it's just a, the battlefield simulation aspect of it, right? Some people really like it, some people say it's unwatchable because of it. I, I get it. I completely get it. Okay. So, we survived this attack. I mean, look at this. It's pretty cool, I like the immersion of it. But I can totally get it that it's, uh, it's really hard to watch when you want to know what you actually hit. It's a Zeus, alright. Yeah, I want to get this high ground position, that's, that's a pretty good one. Also, seems to be the last attack. Okay. Got that guy. And my arrow is doing the works. LRMs, let's go. Okay. Mm, Mech is getting quite toasty with the constant stream of LRMs. You're running along, Tom Cannon, and snub those PPCs. You are such a good mech, man. I want you. I want your stuff, actually. Why am I not hitting? Oh, because I need to aim higher. That's why. Yeah, the missiles are actually generating a lot of heat. But I can easily put this carapace into the hands of an AI pilot and... Have a good time. Absolutely. Yeah, looking good. Looking very good. Also, it's pretty cool that our Atlas friend is using the tag all the time. It's very nice of him. If you ask yourself, why am I running to the right side while I have an enemy on the left side? Because I want to get out of here. I want to get to my evac already. And then probably shoot the locust from when we have an angle here. We're going to go to this opening and then shoot the LRMs. Uh, firing from range. Yeah, let's go, guys. You can shoot arrows and stuff. Want to do that? Huh? Come on, little guy. Get wrecked. It's not quite the angle. Still not. Oh, wait, actually, we got him. Oh, yeah, we can also do that. If you forgot about it. Destroying the buildings here so that we have a better angle on those. And honestly, I like these LRMs. It's really good. It's, they're so helpful. Being able to shoot indirectly when you don't get the direct line of sight keeps you engaged in any phase of the game. It's pretty good. But sometimes you don't have the line of sight. That's an ear PPC on the flea. We should take that down. Maybe the weapon is good. Let's go. Let's do it. PPC on the flea. That's crazy, man. What's next? An arrow on an urban mech? I think something like that exists, honestly. Okay. Who's that? Medium laser, LRM5. I mean, it's a bit of extra money, so there's that. Who are you? Flying javelin. Pulse javelin again. Ah, I think I don't need to leave my shots so much anymore because we have a ballistic velocity increase as well coming from the targeting computer. See, that's it. We have broken line of sight thanks to our friends and we can still shoot. Shoot LRMs at the very least. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Very nice self-defense and we get a mere 172,000 C-bills out of that. All right, that's not the biggest, but that's okay. 
cool. Man, what do you think, guys? Did we make our mechs better, yay or nay? I also want to kill this Rick Vic. That should give us a bit of extra money, and we are so close to the evac that we can afford this little skirmish. Okay, some damage. Let them come to us. Ah, you got vision? You got tag? Almost got him. We just need to get around the corner there. There it is, alright. Eh. Phoenix Arc. Come on, engage, buddy. If you want to. I know it. And yet again, we have him tagged. We have him killed. Perfect. I think he went down with an arrow shot. That's another 50,000 Z bills that we just get. Nice. Clear to board at so, man, with all the new goodies, our economy was kind of squashed today. That was, that was taking a hard hit. But we made it happen, and we even got two Silver Bullet Gauss Rifle Tier 5. Now we need to find ammo for it. We need to find ammo for the rotary. We need to put it in a mech. We, there's so much stuff going on. And we didn't even build our Banshee yet to full extent. But I think that is perfectly fine. Since we get a radical double heat sink kit. Okay, it activates when above 85%. And it will give you a great amount of cooling. But the longer you have it active, the higher your chance of it failing will get. So you need to go below 40% to cool down again. I really hope that there's some kind of warning that your radical is running. I'm gonna take that. Zeus, no. Slick Sweet. Sensor range 15%. Piloting skill modifier plus 2. Evasion plus 1. Hell yeah, let's take that. They have this, they have this Marauder. Heat dissipating armor. Interesting. Maybe we should take it, put it together, and then get the parts out of it. 24 picks. Snubnose PPCs are also pretty good. They only weigh 6 tons. They have decent damage. And the range is okay. Absolutely. There's the ER PPC. There's the heat dissipating armor. So, weight penalty is 1.7 tons. Um, armor repair cost is high. Repair time is high. Incoming heat damage modifier. So it's really good when you're facing Inferno SRMs. But it doesn't give you any cooling per se it just negates a bit of incoming heat from external sources i'm not gonna take that it's not a thing that i'm worried about lrm 10 tier 4 ppc tier 2 medium x pulse those are really good Bhutan, six damage um heat is decent and the range is also quite okay Do I want a medium X pulse laser? I think I want to pick one up, yeah? Why not? Large laser tier 3. Uh, lots of parts here. SRMs, medium lasers, assault knuckles. Don't care about them. No. Small laser. No. Double heat sinks. Should we take some more? I mean, they're cheap. We can buy them. We don't need to pick them. Our picks are better off somewhere else. And I think it's gonna be the Marauder. Two parts here so we can start the build. And then pick up more Marauder parts later. What else do we want to take with us? We have five more salvage rides. Is it a snub? We could possibly take that, huh? Sure, it's something new that we don't have yet. Alrighty. So, guys. The Banshee is coming to life. Slowly, but surely. But I want to make a cut here for today. The video is long enough and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, there was a lot of new stuff happening today. If you did, please do me the favor. I want to go to the 100 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. You know the deal. You know how YouTube works. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.